Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with the Blitzy Creative Team. Today I'm going to use one entire collection to make a layout or a project. And I'm going to flip through the collection here that I'm using. It's the Pink Brush Studio Happy Things line. And I'm usually one of those people that mixes up things. Like I'll use a paper from one line and some embellishments from another line because I don't like everything to look super matchy. That's just kind of my style. But I wanted to show you that even if you stick within the same collection or the same range, you can add some things that are signature to your style that will not make it look cookie cutter, if, if you know what I mean. Which, there is absolutely nothing wrong with getting a collection and using just that. It's just my personal style. I like to make it my own and, you know, mix things up and... Anyhow, one of my kind of signature things is creating a background for my layouts. So for this one, I'm going to use some different distress inks. I use um, Worn Lipstick, Mustard Seed, Evergreen Bow, and Cracked Pistachio. And I'm doing the packaging technique where I just kind of smush the ink onto a piece of plastic packaging, spritz it with water, and then smush it onto the white cardstock. I it's kind of my go-to thing lately. I love the watercolor look, and this is such an easy, like, foolproof way to do it. I've showed it before in videos, and I think you guys like it, too. I've seen a lot of people doing it. I'm just going to dry that really quickly with my Ranger heat tool. I don't really recommend doing this. I was in a hurry to get it done, but if you can let it air dry, you'll get less warping. And then I'm using some Black India ink, and I'm just dropping from really high up, probably almost two feet up, I would say, like 20 to 24 inches, because that gives you the best splatters. I love this. I used to do it all the time, and I've somehow not been adding black ink to my layouts lately, but I really do like to do that. So, again, I'm going to dry it with my heat tool. You just want to make sure that you don't smudge that. So, I love that little bow shape that's in some of the pattern papers, and I wanted to recreate that on my background. So I found a little tiny triangle stamp. This is a W plus nine stamp set, but you could use any triangle stamp that you have. And I just kind of make them kiss and it creates that little bow shape that you see all throughout this collection. And I thought that was a really cool way to make it my own, but still incorporate some of the elements that I love about this um, line. So now I've just cut some background um, papers to rest my photo on and I'm adding one of these really cute ombre like fabric tags they're really really cute and then I'm just putting a little bit of foam adhesive underneath that tag so that it's kind of level with the photographs and I'm going to take some of these acetate triangles and because I don't want the adhesive to show I'm going to staple the big one using my tiny attacher that I have gold staples in and I just use a Krylon gold paint pen to make them gold. And then I'm going to use this Xyron sticker maker to um, coat it with adhesive, coat the triangles with adhesive so that none of it shows. This is a really great technique. I did it in a, video, a previous video um, where I did the title with a similar product and I just ran all the letters through that sticker maker. It's a great thing. Now I'm taking these super fun glitter foam stickers to create my title, which is just going to be lovely and add that to the bottom. And then I'm going to add a few. This um, set of foam stickers also has a bunch of hearts and also those little bow shapes. So I'm just gonna add some of those around the page. And then I'm going to use one of my favorite embellishments, which is some patterned wood veneer. And I'm gonna take one of the borders and use my Tim Holtz nonstick scissors to cut it down because I don't want the whole thing. And you can cut wood veneer with those scissors, which is awesome because I love to do that. You can also stamp on your own wood veneer with stays on ink. I've done that before and I really like the way that it looks. So I think that's pretty much going to finish up this layout. I think I'm going to add a few more embellishments. But I just wanted to show how you can use an entire collection, only one collection, or only one paper line, and put your own spin on it, do your thing with it, you know, I like to create backgrounds for my layouts, whatever it may be. Every, I think everybody kind of has their own signature style. But it's just kind of fun sometimes to stay within those parameters, especially if you're in a hurry and you want to get something done, you know, pretty quickly. 
having the whole collection is so convenient because it takes a lot of the thought out of it for you. So you can just sit down, get your story told, and, you know, get it in your album. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. I'm going to have some close-up pictures here at the end. And um, check out Blitzy for the products below. Bye.